This is the Hill of Slain in County Mead. This site has been connected to Patrick for centuries. Now, the tradition of this place goes back to 433 AD when Patrick lit a Paschal fire here in defiance of the local pagan king. Paschal comes from the Hebrew word Pesach, meaning Passover. Now, the Paschal fire celebrates the Passover mystery of salvation through Jesus Christ. And it is lit in many churches just before Easter. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, Patrick challenged royal authority by lighting the Paschal fire on the hill slain on the night of Easter Eve. It chanced to be the occasion of a pagan festival at Terra, during which no fire may be kindled until the royal fire had been lit. The hill of Terra is over there, about 10 miles away. It was a significant pagan worship site going back millennia. It contains a number of ancient monuments and according to tradition, was the seat of the High King of Ireland. Throughout Ireland, we see evidence of ancient pagan cultures. Usually the evidence is in the form of a human-made stack of stones called a cairn. Cairns have been used all over the ancient world for all sorts of purposes, from burial monuments, defensive structures, religious ceremonies, or to mark hunting grounds, or even to map the planets in stars. On the Hill of Terra, you can see remains of different types of pagan cairns, from this monolithic marker on top to this more elaborate and mysterious Mound of the Hostages, which contains a series of burial and storage chambers. A large fire here at the Hill of Slain, or over on the Hill of Terra, which you can see on the horizon behind me, would be visible to the other, especially in the dark of night. Here's how Muirchu, a writer from the late 600s, described Patrick's challenge to the Druids at Terra that evening. The custom was that whoever lit a fire before the king on that one night of the year, Easter's Eve, would be put to death. Patrick lit the Paschal fire before the king on the Hill of Slain. The people saw Patrick's fire throughout the plain, and the king ordered a number of chariots to go and seize Patrick. The king exclaimed, if we do not extinguish this flame, it will sweep over all Ireland. Seeing that the heathen were about to attack him, Patrick rose and said clearly and loudly, may God come up to scatter his enemies, and may those who hate him flee from his face. By Patrick's curse in the king's presence, seven times seven men fell, and the king, driven by fear, came and bent his knees before the holy man. Many have called this Patrick's Elijah-type encounter with the pagan leaders here in this region. Patrick, who had stoked his fire in honor of Christ's resurrection, so impressed the local population that the high king ordered the protection of Patrick and his new religion in this area. The Hill of Slain has been marked as a Christian site ever since. Over the centuries, it has even been considered a center of Christian learning. These are the ruins of a friary church and college that were last restored in 1512. The friary was ultimately abandoned in 1723 and has since fallen into disrepair. The ruins include this 62-foot Gothic-style tower. What an incredible archaeological site.